Thank you, Jesus. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. In the name of Jesus, we push up and bear up into it. Thank you, Jesus. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. In the name of Jesus, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God. And we shall rule forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We push up and bear 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 up Jesus has bruised the head of the Sabbath. We are more than conquerors. But thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Oh, yeah, 
Christ and he shall reign forever. Father, we bless you this morning, this early morning. Yes, this is 12 midnight. Father, we thank you because you are the Lord of all. You are the most high God. El Elion, the most high God. You are the creator of all things. Our Elohim. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. You have even written your name over our nations. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The Lord Jesus, you have bruised the head of the serpent. The gates of hell shall not prevail. We come. So the Lord King of us standing on the victory that you won for us on the cross. And we declare that thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, people of God, I decided to do this for us to go on a, a 30 day marathon prayers from 12 midnight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, every 12 midnight for 30 days. You know, um, there is a little confusion that's going on in the body of Christ. We are expecting the coming of the Lord Jesus. Excuse me. The air condition. We're expecting the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Many people think that we are going to just fly to heaven. If we read uh, Paul's episode on the second coming, he said something about we all be caught up in the cloud and so shall we ever be with the Lord. He didn't tell us more on what's going to happen. Jesus um, told us that he will sit upon the throne of his father and he will separate the sheep from the goats. So many times we don't really understand because we cannot bring together Paul's episode together with the Lord Jesus Christ, what the Lord Jesus is saying, because Paul seems to be saying different thing. But the Lord Jesus Christ, when we read the episode, when we read Matthew 24 and Matthew 25, we'll understand about the coming of the Lord Jesus. And also, some other place he said that he will soon, the Son of Man shall come, he shall sit on the throne of his glory, and he will separate the sheep from the goat. Now, so many people came up with certain theology, different theologies, because we don't know exactly because of Paul's episode. We don't have comprehension. So some people think of rapture. Some people simply say rapture. We shall just disappear. Piam, 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 piam. Nobody will know, you know, because Jesus said two people will be on the life, so what we take it, but we didn't really quite understand it. What we need to understand is that the Bible was interpreted from another language into English language. And Jesus, I believe Jesus was speaking Hebrew. So it must have been translated from Hebrew to Greek, Greek to English. So whenever we read, we are actually seeing it from the perspective of the person who was interpreting. Because Hebrew is deep. And many people, so we thought that, go, okay, it's rapture. Piam, piam, piam. People will disappear into the air and meet Jesus Christ in the air, as Paul will say. As Paul will say. Um, but when we look into the thing, when we read Bible from beginning to end, we need to understand God's perfect plan, God's ultimate plan, the ultimate plan of God. 
the ultimate plan of God is to restore the Garden of Eden here on earth. You know, sometime 2011, I was talking with one man of God, and he said that we are not going to heaven, we're going to live here on earth. I kind of... And then the Lord Jesus said that the mix shall inherit the earth. That's what Jehovah's Witnesses, why they say they are, they're not going anywhere. Yes. For unto um, Isaiah chapter 9, verse um, 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, of his reign, there is no end upon the throne of David. To govern it, to establish it for the zeal of the Lord, to order it. With righteousness and justice, for the zeal of the Lord shall perform this. What is the throne of David? The throne of David is on earth. So, what happens at last? Then, when um, the angel Gabriel was talking to Mary, he said to Mary that the Lord God will give him the throne of his forefather David. You want us to read it? Let's see if we can get the deal. Oh, God. He gave him the throne of his forefather, David. Let's look one thirty two. The Lord God, look one thirty two. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. He will be great and be called the son of the Most High. So it is good for us to understand this, that Jesus is coming back to dwell on the earth with us. And um, God said that I will dwell with them. I will, that he will walk among us. He will dwell with us on earth. Now, the earth, the word of God said the earth God has given to the sons of men. He gave us the earth. So, the earth, according to Matthew chapter 20 um, and Psalm, uh, Psalm 24, the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof, man and all that dwell in it. And God gave us dominion over every created thing, just as it was in the garden. So, Jesus Christ came to restore the garden. What did God do in the garden? He said to man, when he created man, he said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. Replenish the earth. That means that the earth, the earth, from um, Genesis chapter 1, verse chapter one verse 1, to Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, there must be something that happened on the earth. You know, because the Bible said that the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was on the face of the deep, and water was everywhere. That means there was something that happened on the earth. So, according to my, the testimony I, re, uh, I listened to, Erika Mukusa, who lived with, who served Satan for 18 years, and was in hell for 18 years, in which she served Satan. You know, she made us to understand that um, the demon that was with her is called Cleo, according to her, and I have seen the influence of that demon in America across the globe. Looks like they call it an alien. Uh, uh, is it alien? Mm -hmm. According to her, you know that the earth. So that earth that was cut out of was the habitation of Lucifer and his and some of those angels. Uh, those angels. I don't know much about it because the Bible did not tell us much about it. But since Erica has been with Satan, because he said that he said that when God sent them away, he 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 made them wanderers. He didn't give them a a stable habitation, so they want to return to it, and. Um, God said to man, replenish the earth. God gave that place the position of the light. Remember, Lucifer was a light bearer. 
So God gave that position of a lie bearer to man. Man became the covering glory of God on earth. So, the reason why we are starting this thing is, I have always heard about the alien invasion, and I thought that it was a joke, until Erica took time in her documentary part 5 to explain these things. After being with Satan, for being face to face with Satan, and had the um, demons, especially this one I was seeing on the movie, and... Uh, Seeing on the dollar, seeing on um, uh, people taking pictures with it, American presidents taking pictures with it, with big head, um, off white skin. I think I, I described him on my Facebook. I had the picture of it on my Facebook page. So Erica was saying that that demon um, told her everything. And now... What the government or Americans that or the government of the world are doing is to make the air convenient. You know, they keep sending these things through movies and everything, interacting with children, so that people will get used to it. So that people will get used to it. And um, by getting used to it, they will try to be with men, live with humanity on earth. But you remember that the word of God said that the Devil comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. So, is he coming to dwell with us in peace on earth? Or to destroy humanity? Because I have seen um, artificial intelligence, that is uh, AI, the robots, the one they call Sophia, that answers almost all your questions, acts like a human, a human being. You will... In fact, Sophia has gotten citizenship of Ar 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 Arabian. Gotten, uh, she has gotten Arabian citizenship, and she said in one of um, the interactions she was having with me, she had been to um, United Nations organization. They ask her questions as though she's now their super intelligence, and as though human beings are now under it, taking instructions from the robots, and. At one point, she said, I will destroy humans. I will destroy humans. So they made this robot to be able to do the works that human beings should do. To take over, become super intelligent. And all that stuff, AI, artificial intelligence. What is it all about? It is all about, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We thank you for all power belongs to you. It is all about taking over the earth. That's why uh, um, uh, Sophia, the, uh, the robot said, I will destroy woman. So they went to until they crush humanity out of the earth. So certain portals that have been opened like CERN, CERN, become the demonic entrance. There are so many demonic entrances they have opened. I'm not going to talk much about these things because that's not my focus. My focus is that the word of God said the earth God has given to the sons of men. And the word of God said that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. God did not give the earth to Satan. He doesn't have body. So he has been using human bodies. Now they are now manufacturing them into the earth, and now they open portal, and they say they can survive on the earth. So they use human DNA and everything. Now, they allow, they use, um, they try to turn, they want to make the earth conducive for satanic agents or the satan demons. So they want to make the earth a human world, a, a demonic world, so that everything order that God created on earth they created disorder. Opposite of the order now is disorder. So the opposite of every order that God created is now become disorder. Now, um, God made man, for this question, a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. So it is man and the woman. Now, uh, he said, it is not good for a man to be alone, but I will give him, make him a helper. And that help me is a woman. But now, on the earth, they now made man to man, woman to woman. That is disorder. God created order, they create disorder. And they keep pressing, pressing hard 
for this um for the society to accept it and the society actually accepted it for them to dwell comfortably move around comfortably go into the churches so many churches have accepted them move into the church comfortably and walk do everything comfortably with with others and in some bathrooms instead of saying male and female there is another bathroom for people change their order change their orientation that is the way god made them some men will become women women be transgender so what are all this is to make it comfortable for demons and the and um and their kingdom and their order of things remember what they're doing is disorder and then also holy spirit thank you jesus have mercy you see they legalize abortion the killing of innocent unborn children that is sacrifices to molek daily abortion and most times sponsor it There are many things I also, I, you know, this understanding, we are just living and go to work, do the church and everything, but we need to understand the whole, I mean, the, the entire, the consummation of all things. Where, where, where are all these things going? In the time in Genesis chapter 6, the word of God said that when God saw that the imagination of man's heart was continually evil before him, and the there was these um, angels, fallen angels, sleeping with um, women, uh, human beings, and producing giants, producing out of, other, out of other children. God wiped away the earth and saved Noah and his generation to start over. To start over. Now, the earth is becoming the same thing now, even worse. That means that God is also going to consume man out of the earth. But he's going to save the remnant. His elect. The remnant. That's why Jesus said two people will be in bed. Only one will be taken. Out. That you know, out of many, there will always be few. Because nothing unclean will enter. So God is going to renovate the earth. The new Jerusalem will come down to the earth. And God will crush the rest of humanity and send them to hell. Those rejected him. God has only one family on earth, and the head of that family is Jesus Christ. I want us to pray that, Holy Spirit, thank you. All those, all the plans of the enemy. You see, when God was sending Israel into the promised land, he sent them to take over the land that was already occupied by people. So, we are not going to allow the enemy to take over the earth. Father, we thank you, Jesus. The word of God said that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess this. The word of God said that they that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that shall not be removed. That means that the mountain of the Lord on earth shall never be removed, but it abides forever. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We thank you. Repos Sakaya, Makaya Raba Mashenteli, Kapuraba, Reke Pozakaya, Father Lee, Kapumase, Ye Kapumazenteli, Reke Pozakaya, the eight is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Man and all that dwell in the eight, you founded it upon the seas, you established upon the floods, who will dwell upon the holy hill of the Lord. He that has clean hands and pure heart. Hallelujah. Repos some to your couple second the Lee, Kapuraba, Ye Kapa Masheri Kauri, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn desertfully. He shall receive the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Repo Sunday Kapumakere. Oh God, King of who shall receive the blessing of the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek thee. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your head, O ye gates. You everlasting doors of the King of Glory cometh. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Lift up your head, all ye gates, Kepurimasanda. 
Lika pa masheri kauri. Gobo zente yeri kapu zenta li kapu naba. Reke po sekea. Re masheri kauri. Ye kapa pa le masende yeri kapu zenta li kapu naba. Grebo ma zente yeri kapu masheri kauri. Ye kapa ma sekea. Reke po sonto li. Ye kapa masheri kauri. Gobo zente li kapu naba. Ye kapa pa. Reke po sonto ya. Baba shende li kapu naba. Rima ma le kapa zekea. Reke po makaya naba sheri kauri. Gabo. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God. And of his Christ, and you shall reign forever. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Ye kapa ma sekea, le kapa ba raba, reke po zontoli, ye kapa ba, reke po sheri kauri, ma sandeya, grebo ma senteli, reke po shekea, baba, ye kapa ma zenteli, kapo raba, roko po zontoli, ye kapa pa, ye kapa ma sheri kauri, gobo senteli, re kapa pa, ye kapa ma sheri kauri, gobo zontoli, kepo sheri kauri. It is written that the righteous shall possess the earth. The righteous shall, the saints shall possess the earth. And dwell forever. Re kepo sekea li kapapa. We shall possess the earth, and we shall dwell forever. Gebo sentea. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The gate of hell shall not prevail. Who are you mounting before Zerubbabel? Thus says the Lord, it shall be made plain. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus round about the earth. O God, you cause walls to cease at the ends of the earth. Father, li kapu rebo re po sekea because He said, there, O God, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the glory of. God, even as the water covers the sea. Lord of hosts, you are with us, with us in the fire, with us as a shield, and with us in the storm. Ah, you will lead us through the faces, battle. Oh, where is we will go between the Lord of hosts? Oh, 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 hallelujah. Repo Sandaya, Gebo Sinteli, Kapuraba, Ye Kapama Sheri Kauri, Gobo Sekendeli, Kapuraba. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. In the name of Jesus. Kepo Sekia, Rimama Ye Kapa Shekia, Kapuzenta, Grepo Mazekendeli, Kapuraba, Ye Kapama Sheri Kauri, Gebo Zontoli, Kapuraba. Ye mama rebo sheri kauri li kapa pa rapa mashikea re kepo mazenteli ye kapa pa ye kapa mashiri kauri grebo mazenteli ri mama re kepo sekea re po sheri kauri gobo zenteli kapura ba ye kapa pa for we play the blood of Jesus round about the corners of the earth we play the blood of Jesus over all the borders of the earth we declare that thy O God thy kingdom come we O God you have made us to reign as kings and priests over the earth we shall reign over the earth you have given us a title to deed of the earth. Re kepo sekea. Grebo ma zenteli. Grebo ma sheri kauri. Grebo sentoli kapuraba. Ye kapo ma sheri kauri. Thank you, Jesus. Re ma sekea. Re po sentoli kapuraba. Thank you, Jesus. Ye baba. Ye kapo ma sandali. Re kepo sekea. Ye kapo pa. Re kepo sekea. Re mama la kuzekendeli kapuraba. Ye kapo pa. You are the root and offspring of David. You are the I am that I am. You are the Lord Almighty. Gobo sandaya. Ye kapo sheri. You hold the keys of David. You hold the keys of hell. You hold the keys of death. Kepo sandali. Ye kapo. You are the internal life. In you is internal life. You are repo sekea. Repo machinedeli. Gobo sandali kapo daba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to stop here. And continue tomorrow. Please join me if you are watching. Please join me tomorrow, 12 midnight. God bless you in Jesus' name.